is Damian McMurray, Global Medical News Network, and with me is Dr. Daniel Shidlow, Professor and Chair of Pediatrics at Drexel University College of Medicine in Philadelphia. Thank you for speaking with me today. Thank you. Now you just, you're here at the Miami Children's Postgraduate Meeting and you just gave a presentation about transitioning the child with chronically ill diseases from a pediatric provider to an adult provider. Can you give me some of the um, major challenges that are involved in that sort of transition at this point? Sure. Uh, even today, after many years of uh, addressing this issue, uh, I find that there are obstacles uh, that uh, have not been surmounted. So, uh, one of the obstacles is uh, the relative lack of expertise of adult caregivers in some of the pediatric conditions, particularly certain genetic disorders. Okay. Uh, the uh, there is naturally a reluctance of families and patients to leave their pediatric caregivers where they have received their care for many years, so there's some a bond decades. And yes, there is a bond and conversely there is a certain reticence uh, by pediatric caregivers to let go of their patients. And the transition process involves uh, speaking with the family, advising them that the time is quickly coming for them to start thinking about uh, going to an adult caregiver. Then we, the process of transition takes place at least over a year where we see the patients jointly, we introduce the adult team, and by the time the patients uh, actually leave us and go to the adult center, they already feel very comfortable. Right, so they already know the person before they leave and it's a whole process. Exactly. It is not, here's a bus ticket, go down to the next hospital and that's it. And see you later. Yeah. And see you later. Right. We never abandon our patients. We, maybe because we're pediatricians, we're a little overprotective, but we want to make sure that they are being received at the other end of, 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 the, uh, of the equation by an adult caregiver. So how long do you generally follow up with them and, and you know, once the transition is made? Do you check in with them? Do you make sure? Actually, uh, by and large, the patients see this transition as a rite of passage and a, a graduation from the pediatrician to adult life and from time to time we may hear something about one or other patient. What happens more commonly is that the patients themselves communicate with us because we are already, after 20, 20 some years, kind of part of their family and part of their life. For Global Medical News Network, this has been Damian McNamara.